Sup guys, been a while. My Havana twists have been in for about two weeks now and they're looking kind of rugged, starting to show their age. Not cute. So what I do is I usually redo the front and that makes them just look better overall and lets me keep them in for another two weeks. So I'm going to show y'all how I do that. And if you're thinking about getting Havana twists, this would be a great way for you to just see the process of installing them and how it's totally easy to do it yourself. So as you can see, I'm sectioning off the front of all the twists that I'm going to redo and I'm going to put all the rest of them behind me so that way I don't do them and then also just so I can like avoid stray hairs. And here we're going to start on my side and take this one Havana twist apart. Remember as you're taking them apart, for those of you who probably already have them or thinking about getting them, be careful once you get to your hair as you can see I'm about to hit my hair and just be gentle with how you take them out. I mean I'm moving through it pretty quickly because when I install them I detangle heavily. So anyway, there's my hair. I'm kind of finger detangling a little bit just to make sure there aren't any you know, major knots. And then I'm going to use aloe vera gel to smooth my edges down. And this is me not knowing how to focus on my own camera. I swear I went to film school. I swear. So yeah, we're going to take some and just kind of rub it on the edges of my hair. As you can see there, focusing again because I don't know what I'm doing. And there you go, just rubbing it along the shaft of my hair as well. Getting on the edges and the ends and then also working it into my scalp because, I don't know, I just put it on my scalp and it feels good, so I do it. I'm sure there's probably some, there's some, like, some cosmetic issues that help with that, whatever. I like aloe vera gel. I'm sure it's good for you. Probably can't hurt. Take the hair that I just took out, half it, like so. And then I part the section in two, lay the hair in between the two sections, and then you're going to twist one section. This, On this instance I'm doing counterclockwise, you can do clockwise. And then make sure you twist the other section the same direction that you twitched the first. You need to make sure both of them are twisted in the same direction. And then twist those together in the opposite directions that you've twisted them, if that makes sense. Now what I do at the ends, I, like since my hair is a little bit shorter, I try to really infuse my hair into the Havana twist hair. So I kind of wrap the synthetic hair around my real hair so that the ends blend in better. And you can see it sometimes it'll take me a couple times, like this time it's taking me three times, just one little twig that just wouldn't go in. And that's how I make sure that it looks relatively seamless. Um, I'm not going to say that it looks perfect, but relatively seamless. I still get people that think that this is all my hair and I think it's funny because it's not. I mean it's my hair because I pay for it. So it's my hair because I paid for it. And here you're going to see me do it one more time. I just want to make sure y'all are getting it. Ignore the dandruff. Um, I already put the aloe vera juice in. Twist one half. This time I'm doing it counterclockwise again. Four or five times. Don't go crazy with it. Twist the other side. Same, four or five times. You don't want to put too much tension on your scalp. Then twist in the opposite direction. Okay? So I'm twisting clockwise when I put them together. And then again, as I get towards the end, I'm trying to cover my hair into the synthetic hair. And uh, by the way, this is the Finger Comber brand of hair. I got the darkest black they had. Um, it's really awesome hair. I really like it. I've used it multiple times. This will be the last time I use it though. I highly recommend getting this hair. It's kind of expensive. Not gonna lie. It's not cheap on the wallet. I know the Marley hair is way cheaper, but I like the way this hair looks and I like the texture. And once again, keep in mind, I have used this for four different installations of this hairstyle as well as other styles that I just wanted to add some, you know, an extra touch. So it's a, it's it's a good purchase. I mean, it's expensive, but I feel like it's worth it. BTW, they did not fund me. This video was not paid for by fingerfilmer.com at all. I just like their hair. So full disclosure on that, they did not pay for this. I keep this style, as you can see my camera's about to die so I'm making a face, but I keep this style in for about three to four weeks. 
And now my front looks so much better, and in because my front looks so much better, the rest of my head magically looks better. This is a great way to just refresh this style if you have it. So I hope this helped. I enjoyed it. <laughs>